too, so they don't really have anything. We can put it right here next to the window. It looks so good. Yeah, I'll start with mine. Okay, so for mine, wait, first we have to put protection. And I'm gonna take the paintbrush. And I think first I'm going to paint these two like buckle things. I'm gonna paint them gold. So I'm just gonna mix our gold and then we're gonna put the gold in the palette like this. Great. I'm going to take a bit of this gold and then I'm going to put it, whoa, that looks so opaque and so amazing. <gasps> Look at that, it's just so pretty. This gold is gonna just look amazing with my room. And like, like the keyhole thing for this like chest is also gold. So it'll just look too perfect to be true. <gasps> You've heard of too good to be true, but have you ever heard of too perfect to be true? Look at that, it's so shiny and so amazing. And once it's like paired up with pink, it looks so good. Like my curtains. <sighs> I can't wait. Okay, I'm just gonna continue painting it. It's just so pretty. I just, I just, I love gold so much. What's your favorite like color, like Elsia, metallic color? My favorite color is probably either metallic blue or it's silver. Yeah, silver is great, but I prefer gold. Yeah, we all have our preferences and it's important to listen to other people's opinions. Look how shiny this looks. Oh, I love shiny stuff. And this is shiny. It's so shiny. Perfect, the gold is finished. Now let's go in with some yellow. Yellow is gonna look great and it's gonna like, just like kind of give it this nice look with the pink too. It's just gonna look really, really good. So I'm just gonna put some here and we're going to paint one stripe and then take some yellow. And why don't we do the middle stripe? That is so pretty, yes! Whoa, that is such a satisfying result. <gasps> yeah, that looks so good. It reminds me of like a lemon. Oh, I love lemons, they just look so cool and they taste good too. Looking good, now let's add some orange to this yellow. Well, not orange, let's add some pink to this yellow to make a sort of like orangish color. Like that, and like this we can reuse paint and we don't waste as much paint. All right, let's use it on the top. Whoa, look at that color. See, it's like a pinkish, salmonish color. I love the color, it looks so good. And let's do the end stripe here too. Oh, it's looking so good. I love it already, whoa. I should probably get another color. I'm gonna add a lot of white to it. And the pink is in progress. And it's looking great. Whoa, look at that pink. Why does it look so cute? Whoa, I want that pink to be the new color of my room. It's just such a cute pink. Ah. Oh, look how pastel that is. It looks so good. Gotta make sure it doesn't like touch the other colors. Okay, it's not touching the other colors. Oh, it's just so perfect. <gasps> Look at that. Why does it have to be such a cute color? Okay. Like that. It's just so pretty. It reminds me of like a, like a flower with these like pinks and yellows and stuff. Oh, it's just so beautiful, I love it. There we have it, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Oh, I think my chest is done. And I think I can put it on my floor. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, now your turn, Elsia. Thank you. Oh, and it looks so good. Oh, my furniture is like upside down. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I'm gonna take my chest and I'm gonna put this under it to make sure I don't get it wet and stuff. <gasps> First, I'll start with this silver because I don't want this to be gold. I want this to be silver, but I still want it to match with yours. So I'm going to shake it up and put the silver in the palette. I'm gonna take my silver and I'm gonna, whoa, why does that look so good? 
It looks so good. Okay, I don't care if it like goes on like the other spaces because I'm gonna paint over them anyway, so. But this looks so good. Whoa, this silver is so opaque and beautiful. It makes me feel more royal. Elsia, you're a princess. I know, but mm. Yeah, I guess it does make me feel royal too, to have gold. Yeah, it's like we have a royal room, but like, come on. It's cool to have a bit of like, extra fanciness every once in a while, right? Yeah, it does feel good. All right, turn it around and we're just going to continue. And it's watery. Let me see if I can, I can paint over the things so they look silver. Good idea, Elsia. Mm-hmm, great idea to me. I had a great idea. So this looks so good. Now that we have this beautiful color, we're gonna use our beautiful blue, our bright blue, and we're gonna put it on our palette. And we're going to paint the big stripes with our bright blue. We're going to take our brush, and we're going to paint the big stripes with our bright blue, and it's going to look just great. This is gonna look great and amazing. So all we have to do is paint like this, really carefully. And there we go, we have one of the stripes done. Second, see that all of the like uh, silver paint we, we spilled onto this is being covered anyway. So yeah, sometimes it's not, it doesn't really matter. Like this, see? We are now covering the silver paint, so it wasn't even worth it to like be careful because we're covering it anyways. Like that. Sometimes there's times where you can be reckless with the paint and there's times when you have to be careful. But sometimes you can just let yourself go and do, you know, fun stuff. Not be that obsessed with if it looks good or not. Um, the important thing is that you have fun and you are creative. It's super, super, super smooth. I just love acrylic paints because they're easy to use and also they're like really cool and if you add water they're fine so acrylic paints are really good starter paint or to paint anything really. They're just a great paint. I would definitely recommend getting acrylics. With this blue we are done. What do we do with the lots of excess that we have now? Well that's an easy answer. We put some white paint in. And we mix and get a lighter shade of blue. And I'm gonna use this to go here. The second stripe, we're kinda gonna make this, instead of like super random stripes, we're gonna make this like uh, from darkest to lightest. So we're going to carefully, carefully, carefully do this. Carefully, really careful. There we go. That's careful. Whoa. It's so smooth, like butter. So amazing. And now we get our last little dab of this color, and there we go. It looks so good. And now, of course, if we turn it around, we have to do the last stripe. Of course, duh. There we go. Perfect. Oh, it looks so good. We're gonna get our normal sky blue. And then we're gonna get the super light pastel baby blue. I think I just added too much white. I think we're gonna get the baby blue right away. Yeah, I think we're getting the baby blue right away. But I think I'm gonna put this color in and then get another more like pastel baby blue. I can do lighter. I'm putting my, I'm giving myself a challenge. Oh no, this is good enough, look. It's not that, like, pastel. It, it, it blends nicely. It looks like the sea. It reminds me of waves. Oh, why does it remind me of waves? I don't know, but it looks so good. Oh, it looks like, like something really cool. It looks like a pool. I don't know. I think it's just because I want to go swim. <laughs> Swimming is really good for exercise, and it's really fun. I do have a deep water phobia. Really, Elsie? You do? Yeah. I have thalassophobia. That means I'm scared of really deep water. Oh. 
And I also have cymophobia, which means I'm really scared of big waves. Then how do you swim? Well, I swim in shallow water. Like, I can still swim clearly, but I don't go where my feet don't touch because I get like anxious when I go there. Oh, and I only go to the beach and stuff on days which are like, which we don't have lots of wind or which are just mainly like don't have big waves. Cause I'm pretty scared. I had an accident with a wave once, but I was fine. You shouldn't be scared of waves, but I am so. Yeah, all I do is I don't do things that make me scared, but people have different fears. Some people can be not scared of something and some people can be really scared of something. And that's normal. What are you scared of, Anya? Ooh, I have claustrophobia. What's that? It means I'm really scared of small spaces. Oh, and I also have agoraphobia. What does that mean? It means I'm really scared and I get really anxious in big crowds. Oh, why is that? Because you're scared of people? It's not because of the people, it's because I feel like I'm really cramped and I cannot escape. It's kind of like, uh, now that I think of it, linked to claustrophobia. Yeah, look at this, like, whoa, look at this. And the wood still seeps through, but I can't do anything because I've tried and tried and tried. So I'll just have to accept that there's a few spots that have wood. Because if not, I can't get in here, you know? It's, it's really hard to get in here and I would have to use too much paint and I don't wanna use too much paint because I wanna save the paint so I can make more crafts and I don't wanna be wasteful. And now I'll add a bit more white. Why, you're already done with the stripes? Because I'm thinking of making the sides baby, baby blue. Cool. That is a lot of white in the blue. Oh, okay, yeah, that's really, 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 really light. I like that. I love baby blue and I love dark blue. I love all blue shades. All shades of colors are cool. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, this baby blue is stunning. Yeah, it is. Whoa, look at that. It's like so baby blue. I left the sides on mine like beige because I like the color and I didn't think it really needed painting. It just looks good and I like it. Yeah, but I do think I need some paintings, so that's what I'm doing. Yep, everybody has their different like preferences and stuff. Yep, can't forget to do the bottom. Yeah, of course, how could we forget? Not like you're gonna see it anyways, but like, we have to paint it too, we can't just leave it beige. And we have excess paint, so we should waste all that paint before it gets dried out and we waste it. Yeah, I don't like wasting paint, me either. We should paint as many things as we can. Like this. Look how amazing this chest looks. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, but I'll have to leave it to dry. Oh yeah, you will. Anyways, I think this was a huge success. Was that thunder? Oh, oh I'm scared. Oh no, you, you, oh no, Anya, you scared of thunderstorms? Okay. <laughs> well, looks like Anya is scared of thunderstorms, so we better, you know, say bye-bye now. Yes, please, I'm scared. Okay, okay. Anyways, guys, we really hope you like this video. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. -bye. Uh, bye.